Good morning, everybody. This is Nikki. Thank you for joining me for your collective weekly read. I hope it resonates. Take what, take what you need and leave the rest. It's going to be a timeless reading. I wanted to thank you all for supporting my channel, my new subscribers. Thank you very much for joining us. I hope what I say resonates with you. Uh, come back often. I'll be here as often as I can. And those of you who have stuck with me through thick and thin with the situation with my mother and understanding what I need to do on that end, I appreciate you so much more. Okay? Spirit guys, give me a message here for the collective. Let it be clear and concise. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let it be clear and concise and reach the people or person that it really needs to reach. Message for the collective. Okay. Rest on your laurels. <clears throat> Rest on your laurels, okay? Think of a successful experience from your life. How do you and others deserve credit? How do you and others deserve credit for something you've done in your life, okay? Rest on your laurels. Spirit guys, give me a message for the collective here on how do they think that they deserve credit. <clears throat> Deserving credit in your life here for whatever it is you've done. Okay, the card that popped out is the lover's card for you. Messages for the collective, resting on your laurels. Maybe somebody here name is Laurel, okay? Maybe you like the show Laurel and Hardy from back in the day, okay? Or maybe your family did. I kind of dig them myself back in the day. What do you have in your life that you should feel that you deserve credit in? A happy relationship. We have here wish fulfillment. Okay, you deserve credit for a, a successful relationship. Communicative here. Message for the collective. What do you deserve credit in for your life? What is it that you deserve credit? We have the Knight of Wands. Kind of, kind of. I'm kind of picking up on this energy. Is it's not going to turn out the way you have, you would have thought it would. Okay? Even though it was very happy, it made you happy, there was some wish fulfillment here. Okay, What do you deserve credit in? Some sneakiness. Somebody hurt your feelings or you hurt somebody else's feelings. They, they had a secret. They had a secret here. Okay, Overall energy for the collective. Broken heart. We have here the five of cups. Alright, so we starting with the lover's card, okay? This person made you happy. They were your wish fulfillment here. Um, you probably had a great co communication with this person. They were probably a great conversationalist. So that's what I'm hearing in my head. They were a great conversationalist, okay? It looks like they loved you. They cared for you. Maybe you had a family, a child with this person, or you already had a child coming into the relationship with this person. This person, this person for whatever reason, fleed away from you, okay? They did some sneaky stuff. They did something that broke your heart, that hurt you. Because when I look at this card, this card for me as a reader, I think of this as being my break, broke, somebody hurt your feelings card here. Somebody hurt your feelings or you hurt theirs, okay? All righty. What is going on with this collective here, okay? Somebody who had a lot of different things to say, okay? Maybe they felt that they had a lot of different things going on in their life and they were focused on money. Maybe so many things were going on in the relationship with you that it wasn't enough. It's like, I got so much thing going on with you, the person who's watching, but I have even more so going on with my finances and, and it's just not enough. And it worried them because <clears throat> maybe you showed this person so much stuff in the relationship that they didn't know how to cope with it. So they ended up leaving. We have the queen of pentacles. We have the three of cups. Okay. They were saying, well, I don't have enough. But whatever it is I have, it's not enough for you, the Empress. So I'm just going to go mosey on along and do what I have to do somewhere else, you know. And this somewhere else, they're regretting it now, okay. And you have you don't have to worry because you have two of cups. What they did to you, now they're regretting, okay. They're sick. They're sick, sick, sick in their heads for hurting you, okay. So you, think of a successful experience from your, from your life. How do you... And others do, do how do you and others how I can't even talk y'all how do you and others deserve credit you deserve credit because you were a good person this person knew that you were a good person maybe you were just too much for them you you all were going through I'm gonna clarify this but 
clarify the Empress and the Seven of Cups for the collector here. I think you are too much for this person to handle, too hot to handle, okay? Told you too much. Uh, not in a bad, not in a bad way for you, and not in a bad way for them. They just couldn't digest the good, the good stuff that you gave. You were their wish fulfillment, and vice versa. Y'all talked. Y'all had some good conversations here. Okay, this person fled away, not at once from you, to to screw around with other people. You know, and they hated though. They hated walking away from you. Yeah, they did. They walked away. And that, they hated it. They have a broken heart, honey. I'm telling you. They hated it. And I'm hearing that in my head. They hated walking away from you. You know, they did it. And now they're regretting. Because look at you. You're innocent. You're pure. You're amazing. But they look sick. Because they didn't think that they have. They could take care of somebody so beautiful. So pure. What did you ever see in me? I can't. I can't grow. You know, it's like... <laughs> I have I have apple buds on my tree, but you have the actual fruit on your tree. How did you get that to happen? You know, it's like they couldn't they couldn't handle how amazingly great and I'm hearing in my head amazingly gifted you are to this person. They couldn't handle it. They didn't know what they could do, so they they chose to hurt your heart and break you down in order to be with somebody else who they really really didn't care about. But they're regretting it now. Okay, they're in total regret. And, and that's what you deserve credit for, for sticking up for yourself, for being the, the beautiful empress that you are. And this is what they saw. They didn't think that they could grow with you. They didn't think that their greenery or their feelings could be rooted deeply like yours could. They didn't think that they could give you what you deserved as a person, you know. So they threw everything away. So how do you deserve credit for being a good person that you are? How do you deserve credit for being a good person that you are here? You have an offer coming in with this Knight of Cups. Ugh. Got the Knight of Pentacles. You're getting ready to get a, a nice offer, okay? Because you deserve it. You deserve this. After what you've been through in your life with situations like people who no longer serve you, you deserve it. And they're, they're going to come looking. You're going to have a lot of offers, too. Just because you got one. It's like that one offer is going to start like a trickle-down effect of even more things to come your way. Even more offers, okay? The trickle-down effect of your... The trickle-down effect... I can't think of nothing to say, y'all. The trickle-down effect from... I'll figure out. I'll figure out something to call it, y'all. I'm trying to think of a title. The trickle down effect of your self worth. Hmm, sounds good to me. The trickle down effect of your self worth. Okay. And we have, see, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles here. So you have an offer coming in sometime soon. Maybe some happy, a happy home situation for you though. <clears throat> a lot of different choices. Somebody left you out in the cold. You didn't think that this person would do some do this to you, and you, they said that they loved you and cared about you. And now that you look back at it, and you really, really think about it, this person didn't have your um, didn't have your your interest at heart anyway. You probably knew that they would hurt you, but you, you were praying to God that they didn't. That you didn't think that they had it in them, but they did. Okay, it happened. They gave very little to the connection here. It's like they, they played games with your feelings and played games with your heart. They thought that they would be better off somewhere else. Okay, because they caused this tower moment in your life. Okay, they went and offered their love somewhere else here. No matter how good they thought they were for other people. They played a lot of games with your feelings and hurt you. Uh, and that left you in a bad headspace, okay? But what about your happiness? Did this person think about your happiness before they stepped out on the relationship, before they left you? No matter how this comes goes, or goes for this person who hurt you, you still have a blessing coming in. You still have an offer coming in your way that's going to be financially feasible for you, okay? It's going to... It's going to take you to where you need to be. It's going to it's going to keep on happening for you. Things are going to start to keep on getting better in your life, especially financially. Okay? Especially financially. A lot of different offers 
because you deserve it, okay? You deserve this. You deserve this credit because of who you are, okay? Because of who you are. Give me some more energy for the collective who's watching. What are you welcoming into your life with this Queen of Swords? You're killing out the devil energy. You know that you have to make a move here, okay, with the seven of wands. You're fighting for your you're fighting your battles. You're winning your inner war. You're winning what this person did to you. You're still connected to this person. You still have feelings for this person, but you're busting through that. And you're saying, I'll be stuck for a minute, but I know that I need to move on with my life because I deserve better. Okay? I deserve better. And you do. Because we have here, you're resting on still feeling this person's energy, positive or negative. It's still around you. But you're going to have somebody coming back for you. Maybe this person coming back, thinking they can get another chance. Because <laughs> we have the two of cups. But after the two of cups, we do have the three of cups. Okay? They're definitely working on some kind of idea how to come back and get you back. Um, we have the four of cups. And we have them thinking of a plan. Oh, I got to get her back. I miss her so much. I miss him so much. I'm working on a plan. Okay? Um, I'm still thinking about this person. Is still thinking about you, okay? The her the heroin card fell on the floor. So <clears throat> they're making a move. Uh, it's like they're kind of stuck in limbo, trying to figure out what to say to you, how to come back to you uh, for some kind of commitment here. They want to recommit themselves to the relationship, and the relationship is already dead, okay? But we have them wanting to come back here with the Six of Cups. But you've already pushed through this. And you're constantly finding a way to get over this person here. Because they're still in your heart. And you still think about them. You're, you're still literally hung up in your head about this person. Okay? They want to come back with this love. Can you please, please take me back? But in the back of their mind, they still not single, y'all. They still got somebody else. Okay, they just got to work on a good ingredient to get you back into the into their fold. Yeah, they want to come back <clears throat> for a do over with you because they still know how good you are. They still know how much of a of a financial generator you are. Literally, okay. They see your beauty. They also see your your fertility. Okay, they know that you're capable of this. Big bucks, you know. Not saying that that would be the reason that they're trying to creep back into your life, but that's just how much they value you, how much they, they know that they screwed up with you. They finally realize your value, your true value, okay? Final messages for this collective on how do you deserve credit right now in your life? Okay. How do you deserve credit in your life right now? The high priestess. <clears throat> we have the two of wands. Manifesting. You know, what is it that you want in your life? And, and you'll be able to, the next time you get a relationship, you, re you really will be able to pick out a person's true intentions by how they treat you the first time. You'll realize, that, oh, no, nah, you're not in my honor. You're not who I want to be with, bro. Mm -mm. Now you got to go. You're going to cut this person out real quick. With this to a source. You ain't no if hands or booty bust about it. You're gonna cut them out. And that, that's you following your intuition. Remember, your high true value is in you. Who is the master? You tell them I am. You blocked up the wrong tree, brother. Mm-hmm. Working on you overall. Yeah, you want your happy home, you may end up have you, you may end up in your home alone right now. And that's probably just the way you want it because nobody's good enough for you right now. That person is doing their thing and you're doing your thing until you all coexist together in the universe with the energy here. Your future here is telling you the next person you get, you're gonna scrutinize this person, but not straight out out you're gonna let this person do what they do until you realize oh no you're not the one for me i, I can keep on looking and I, I got some work i need to do otherwise i need to make my money i need to bank some some coins here and i'm gonna make sure i judge you before you ripple into my heart into my heart i'm sorry until you ripple your ass 
into my heart chakra. I'm not going to let you do that. I'm not going to let you seep into my heart until I peep you out first. Okay? Yeah. So you're not doing no kind of moving toward this dude here. All right, Emperor. All right, Empress. Take it how it resonates. You're not interested in anybody right now because you're communicating to the universe that I'm going to be single in my life right now. I'm going to be single until I know that it's time for me to be with somebody else. Okay? And then I'm going to slowly put myself out there. But first, you're going to have some conflict with this person who left you, possibly for somebody else, or who ended the situation, okay? You're going to have some conflict and arguing with him or her when they want to come back and, and try to apologize to you, okay? Coming back, offering their fake tears, their fake emotions, how they feel. They're sorry that they slept with April, May, and June, or Tom, Dick, and Harry. Are you supposed to believe that shit? Nope. You tell them, look, I'm done. I got love on my mind and it's not with you, okay? I don't want to find my happiness somewhere else. You can keep your back turned toward me because I don't want your stupid ass no more. I'm done. All right? I'm going to pull one more card, y'all. Excuse me. <clears throat> then I'm going to work on your weeklies. Give me a self-compassion card for the collective. Way too many. But I have one that stuck out, which is mirror time. If you made a mistake or fallen short in some way and the self-blame won't relent, go to a mirror. Yes, now. Look yourself in the eyes and say, I forgive you. Okay? I forgive you. All right? Okay, y'all. So this is just something different that I tried today. Maybe y'all might like it. Maybe you might not, may not like it. But it's done. I thank you all for watching and I thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in your collective Zodiac readings.